asking questions about the facial palsy of Apostle Arome Osai and how a man of God can have such physical defect and still minister. In the book of Leviticus 21, verse 16 to 21, you see that God commanded Moses to tell Aaron and his sons that no man with any physical defect is allowed to carry out priestly duties. Even if that person is of the lineage of Aaron, even if it's the person's birthright to be a minister or to be a priest, he said, because of physical defect, that person is not allowed. Why is this? Because spiritually, a minister of God is considered to be God. So, and God does not have any blemish. That's why Jesus is called a, a, a lamb without wrinkle, spot, or blemish. And so is the church of God. So, if a man standing as a minister of God has one issue or one or the other in his body, there's this person they call Pastor Nick. Anybody that's having any physical defect is not allowed, is not, does not qualify to be called a priest, does not qualify to minister. So this is one, one flaw in his ministry. Don't care who is saying what. My mandate by God is to defend Christians and to defend mm. pastors and to defend men of God, pastors, prophets, evangelists. Mm. Another man said, there is this preaching that's nonsensical. Let me, let me just cut what, what the young men say. Uh, mm. Leviticus 21, 16. Leviticus 21, 16. Quickly. Mm. Leviticus 21, 16. Leviticus 21, 16. 21. I want you to see that. Mm. Quickly because of time. Leviticus 21. Mm -hmm. Verse number 16. Mm -hmm. And the Lord spake unto Moses, yes. saying, yeah. verse number 17, speak unto Aaron, saying, whosoever mm. he be of thy seed in their generations, that he hath any blemish, let him not approach to offer the bread of his God. In other words, mm. if a pastor has a deformity, his hands, his face, his legs should never preach. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Should we stand like that and say the, 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 the prophet from South Africa, the apostle from Nigeria, uh, the, the, the bishop from Ghana, who has got deformity on their face and on their legs, should not preach? Mm. Wow. Should it be what we are saying? Mm. That's nonsensical. Mm. Mm. Let's read the book of Hebrews chapter number 10. Hebrews chapter number 7. And I want you to start from verse number 10. I want you to see something. Mm. So we have a lot of people that think, you know, you know, I can just wake up and say something because I hate somebody. Listen to me. Mm. If a man attacks Hebrews. me mm. and they are men of God, if you attack them and you are wrong, I come after you. Mm. Mm. Hebrews chapter number Mm. Hebrews chapter number 7, verse number 10. Mm -hmm. For he was yet in the loins of his father. Melchizedek. When Melchizedek, Melchizedek met, him. met him. Verse number mm. 11. Mm. If therefore perfection... Let's was, just say it is right during the time of Moses. Mm. Listen to this. Let's say it is right in the time of Moses. Yes. Mm. For a priest to come before God without, a, without blemish. That mm. means you should not be deformed. You should not even have cerebral palsy you shouldn't have it mm. that's the time of moses wow mm. you should not even preach god did not want any deformity wow mm. now here but this is the time of moses let's look at the time of jesus if the priesthood was of moses let's go mm. Mm. Verse number Hebrews, chapter number seven verse number ten mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. from verse number ten for he was yet in the loins of his father when melchizedek met him uh -huh. verse number eleven mm. if therefore Perfection whereby the Levitical priesthood. Priest, for under it, it, people received the law. Mm. What further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek, not after the order of Aaron, which is the order also of Moses? Mm. Mm. So the law of blemish mm. that did not allow people with blemish to minister mm. entered with Moses and Aaron. Mm. Wow. The Bible says when Jesus wow. came in, he introduced a different priesthood. Mm. Wow. 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 The priesthood being changed. Verse number 12. Mm. So we changed the priesthood. Mm. And we're still locked on why a preacher who has got a blemish, mm. who has got cerebral mm. palsy, should not preach. Mm. Yet preachers with, 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 with spectacles, you know, you know, you know those, mm. those yes. eyes, you know, for, for, for your eyes, mm. are still ministering. Still ministering. Mm. We are not taking it as a blemish. We don't take it as a blemish. <laughs> and we have never actually seen uh, if, if all the preachers are seeing 2020 vision. Mm. <laughs> we don't know. 
Yes. What if they don't have it? Yes. Sir. Mm. What if they don't hear clearly? Mm. Mm. So should we say preachers should not go? Mm. Eh, almost everyone has got a blemish somewhere. It might be hidden. True. Sir. But you got it. That's but true. It's a blemish. You can't. Still Still it's a blemish. Blemish. I think the problem is we've joined these forces. Mm. For example, I was talking to my media team and it came up that, oh, you better angel said, anyone who is um who wants to challenge me in the prophetic that was a talk all right that was a talk truth but is an is it was an immature statement in the sense that i should not even say it even though it's true mm. yes mm. i literally mentioned it mm. that i had to grow under pastor chris oh yes i had to grow a lot mm. to actually say look i've changed my ways Yes. This my is the same thing. If I have twenty billion in my account, I come and say I've got twenty billion. I'm so rich. That might be true, mm. but it's not what you do when you have matured. Yes, mm. true, sir. I don't know if you're getting this. You're mm. getting it, sir. That's exactly mm. what I said. Mm. But guess what they want? Mm. Because preachers feel like if you support this preacher, I will go with you. Support? No, my mandate is to come and defend Christianity if it's best on scripture if it's not based on true scripture i keep quiet mm. but to oppose an apostle mm. of god just because you don't like him mm. to say because he's like this he shouldn't preach mm. make jokes you want it's okay i'm not saying it's all right in the sense of god all right but make jokes you want if you want but the reality is don't ever put god in it and say since this man has got cerebral palsy he should not preach you miss the scriptures mm. You miss it and be careful. One day, times 10 will come on you. Mm. Wow. wow. Times 10 will come on you. 20. You bring cases to yourself by some loose speaking. I was like that before. I'll just speak. Anyhow, sometimes here and there you miss it. You say something that you should not say. Mm. With all the years I've been in ministry, with my position as a father in Christianity and in the prophetic. I still make mistakes but it's good to come out and say i made a mistake but for somebody to come after a man of god an apostle a, and a prophet a, a bishop a deacon or even a church member or mm. those in the pew and attack them mm. for deformity mm. to say you're not allowed to preach okay if you say you know you've got a deformity you've got a leg that looks like this that's your own issue with god but to put god inside Mm. and say you should not allow we are not allowed to preach because mm. you've got a deformity mm. that's wrong mm. and christians from today onwards learn sometimes put distance your hatred should not make you include god in this equation mm. that's why you don't even believe that miracle man exists if you believe that your mouth can be shifted and god shifts it then you should have the authority to say there is no miracle man <laughs> I want to talk about women eh, to apostolic ministry and a woman is the first person who did it John 2018 Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things unto her so we have a count in the four gospels of women carrying out the ministry let's examine the ministry of the apostle some say can a woman be an apostle can a woman preach some say a woman can do all things but she must never be the founder of a local church she can do all things but she cannot be mommy geo <laughs> When we say everyone, does he have gender? Shalom, child of God. Welcome back, my people. Please, I need your assistance. I need your support. Please, I need your subscription. Pastor John Anosike vowed to chase me out of YouTube. He has terminated my four YouTube channels with false copyright strike. Please, kindly subscribe to my channel. Put down your comment on the comment section. Like the video. Please, help me let this video go viral. Okay? Thank you so much for this. You can see Prophet Robert Angel has responded to this. Child of God, you see this thing they are doing. This thing they call body of Christ. He defended this thing now. Now he claimed that he's defending a Roma. 
he defend Aroma according to him. First, I have to appreciate him for putting his effort and his contribution on this because this is a serious issue. Okay, actually, it is even a, a friend of mine that made that video, Ruben. He can check the video on his platform on his YouTube channel, Ruben TV. So he he's, did not. This guy did not condemn Aroma. He did not call Aroma false prophet. He was actually making commentary, doc uh, documentary about commentary about Aroma before I came across to this. Now this blogger now caught this thing out of content. The blogger did not put where Aroma where he praised Aroma that Aroma is a gentleman of God. This is the same thing that this the same blogger did did to me when I posted the one of uh, Pastor John Anasike where he said that. Uh, uh, if he did not, if he sleep with you, you must not expose him, so that God will not curse you. You know the guy is like the guy is working for them. If you go to his channel, you know that he's working for them. So these are men that are our bloggers that they normally allegedly paid to work for them. So it's well low. There is the situation we find ourselves. They put things they, with the way to suit their pocket because of what they will gain. So it's no longer the gospel. It's not all about blogger supporting evil because of money. Supporting wickedness because of money, because of what you gain, because of comments, like, share, money. Forgetting that it is judgment on the last day. He did the same thing to me. He caught my distance and come and lie that this blogger, I don't know how he got this information. He did not watch the full video because John Anasika has deleted the full video. He deleted the full video on his, all his social media platform. Yet, you are lying. I don't just get it just because of what you gain. Why can somebody woke up like this and now made up his mind to be supporting false prophet because of money? It's, it's unfair and very shameful. So it's well known. Child of God, let's go into this. Let's go into this. Number one, I want to appreciate Prophet about Angel for this. Number one. Number two, the blogger is supposed to show you the full video. And you're not on that because you may talk about uh, how his hatred. No. Is this guy did not hate Aroma. The guy was making commentary before Inan came across. When, when Inan said his own opinion, this is his own understanding on this issue that anybody that has defamation must not preach, must not be on the altar. So it has nothing to do with hatred. It has nothing to do with hatred. He can as well look for the, the video, or I will look for that video and put the full video on the description button. Okay. Now, this is my opinion on this. When he preached that, me, I said, no, this is wrong. I said, no, it's wrong. Because someone, if he said that anybody that has issues should not preach, that is to say that a man that doesn't, a, a man is the same thing. A man that doesn't have money has no right to go to altar because he don't, he's not qualified. That is just the meaning. If you say that somebody that has issue, uh, physical, it can happen to anybody. I don't need to come and be telling you scripture or this and that because uh, Prophet about Angel has said it all. It can happen to anybody. That is why you don't disqualify anybody. Bible says, go here into the world and preach the gospel. Matthew 16, 15, Bible says, go here into the world and preach the gospel. It did not say, uh, go here into the world and preach the gospel if you are Qualify. If you don't have issue, go into the world. Those that don't have physical defamation should go into the world and pray the gospel. No, it did not say those that are crippled should not go. It did not say crippled don't go and pray the gospel. He did not say women don't preach Christ. Don't preach. No, all those things that say women must not preach this and that. You can see some of those things are not in the Bible. Some of them are just. Uh, practice and in, as in traditions of men okay so child of god please this thing issue now you guys should not misunderstand this my friend ruben ruben you can go to his channel he has corrected this and he now make reference and put what he meant there okay so please don't mind this our group of pastors that are looking for how to hang the, our bloggers or pastors that are looking for how to hang uh, their saga now on they are looking for whom to hand their saga on. Yes, I then defend Aroma. I think you guys said that I'm dragging Aroma. I have defended Aroma for you to know that I'm also defending Aroma. No, sir. 
you defended Aroma because of your friend Duncan Williams, and as well, Aroma. For us to know that, uh, no, no, your dragon is not about dragon. I'm not here for that. I'm only here to appreciate you for putting your idea and correcting this. I'm not here to tell you that uh, I'm for Aroma or I'm from Ob or for Ob Angel. No, I'm not here for anybody. If but Angel do something that makes sense. I will tell you that yes, he did well. If Aroma do the one that is doesn't make that doesn't that needs help, me, I will still tell you no, sir. Okay, that is what where I am. I'm I'm standing on the path of truth. I'm not for Aroma. I'm not for but Angel. I'm not for anybody. I'm for Christ. So for now, I want to appreciate Prophet Obat Angel for this. I'm not appreciating him before because he defended he defended Aroma. No. Because after all, when uh, when Pastor Java uh, mocked Aroma, he did not defend Aroma that time. So I'm not I'm not he I'm not uh, appreciating him for defending Aroma. No. I'm appreciating him for bringing this topic. It's not because of Aroma or whatever, whosoever that is involved. I'm appreciating him for putting his idea and his contribution and his teaching on this topic. Okay? So, this topic is a very important topic that you must not joke with. It's not something that somebody come and say, no, no, sir. It's not, this is an important topic. You must not joke with it. I will just allow the video, but if you do now, or what Angel will claim the video. Although he has never claimed my video, I have to be frank. But some people say that he claimed their videos some months ago or thereabouts and uh, just to terminate the channel i don't know but for me but angel has never hurt me i have to be frank with you it's only pastor john anosike that i'm facing the battle i'm facing his battle everywhere so it's well oh. so please child of god we are to preach whether you are a woman or you are this and that or whether you have issue please go here into the world and do what and preach the gospel Okay, though if you are if you are listening to me and you have one defamation or the other, please don't allow it to limit you. Don't allow it to limit you to preach Christ to men. Don't allow it to limit you. If you're a blogger, please, whenever you are showing video to pastor to react, always show the pastor the full video. Allow the pastor to watch the video. Don't conclude for the pastor, then the pastor not carry it and attack another. No. Give that pastor the full video or the link of the full video. Don't just cut the part that will suit your wickedness and show the pastor. You know, mislead that pastor. So always show the pastor the link of the full video or the full video so that the person will understand what that person means. So you guys have, you see now, this guy, is not because he hates Aroma. He was teaching, some, he was trying to bring us on point and that is his own understanding. His own understanding is that Somebody that has issue should not so, so supposed to preach. So for me, he is supposed to preach because gospel is for everybody. Thank you guys for listening. We love you guys. Bye.